what's going on guys welcome to the video so i just had breakfast i had one greek yogurt uh two bananas and now i'm having a cup of coffee while i answer some emails and do some work for become elite i leave for my team training my small group team training in an hour so i have some time to kill right now um, other than that, pretty typical day, but the focus of this video, I want it to be around my leg day routine. I wanna show you guys a leg day workout, a lower body workout, that'd be very, very similar to what I would be doing as a, as a high school kid, focused around power, strength, and a little bit of hypertrophy to really build up the power, the strength, and the size of my legs, because um, I've been getting that question a ton. Uh, but as you'll see, there's nothing crazy about this. It's very simple. There's no exercises in here that are like secrets or that can be mind blowing, but it's just, as you'll see, the fundamentals, but doing that and being consistent with that over 10, 15 years. Anyway, I'm gonna do some work, but welcome to the video. kind of a terrible day to be honest rainy kind of muggy and it's still like warm out it's like 65 but it's kind of weird probably gonna have some lightning or thunder later today like usual anyway I'm headed off to training right now I'm going to try to get a little bit of footage if I stay afterwards and do some individual work or some crossing work or something um, but we'll see I'm a little bit kind of strapped for time because I have a zoom meeting right at noon uh, with a uh, with a college, so I need to be sure that I'm like back in time for that. But we'll see. But yeah, let's head off to uh, head off to the facilities. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just getting back home to my apartment right now. It's 11.45, so we're there for like an hour and 30 minutes. I stayed after for like another 15 minutes or so just to do a little bit of crossing, and then I did some long balls and first touch stuff. Um, not much, just a little bit at the very end. It's always funny with like this quarantine now, like we're forced to, we can't go into the locker room because of like sanitation issues and stuff, so we just have to drive home in our sweaty and dirty gear which is kind of funny, it kind of reminds me back to like high school or club soccer days where you're responsible for your own kit. But uh, but yeah, I miss having, just dropping off all the clothes in the locker room, taking the shower and doing all that stuff, but hopefully we'll be able to do that soon, soon-ish. Um, I have a Zoom meeting with Mac U, which is like a local college team in Oklahoma. So I'm gonna go hop on Zoom for like an hour with them and talk a little bit about like my story and some like, you know, answer some questions, do some Q&A and stuff. Uh, and then I'm going to head back to the facilities to get a workout in. So let's do it. And then also like if you guys want to transition to the pro game and you're really looking at doing that, uh, I think it's, it's so, again, it's cliche. And I mean, like I can tell you to work hard and everyone's like, oh yeah, thanks. Like, okay, work hard. Got it. But it, it really is true. I mean, like if you, from what I've seen at Davis, I think from my four years there of all the teammates I had, I know seven or eight players that went on to play pro. And I'm not like messing with you guys, like the seven or eight players that went on to go pro were always the guys that were like, you'd hit them up on the weekend, like you have your group chat and be like, hey, anybody wanna play 3v3? Anybody wanna get extra touches in? Anybody wanna go to the gym? And those seven or eight guys that were always doing the extra, always playing small sided stuff, always willing to hit crosses or do long balls after training, always willing just to do a little bit extra, those were the guys that ended up playing pro and having successful careers. And so, you know, it is cliche and it's so easy to be like, work hard and, and you know, all your dreams will come true. But there's no coincidence that the seven guys from Davis that I knew, they were always doing the most and always doing the most workouts, always taking it the most seriously, are the ones that ended up with the being, becoming professionals and having the most successful professional careers. So I just finished the Zoom call with Mac U, Mitchell, Danny, all those guys. It was awesome, went really well. Uh, it is 12.45 in the afternoon. I'm gonna make a quick lunch and then I'm gonna go back to the facilities and get a leg workout in because I like doing that, especially with legs. After a full training, when I go back to the gym immediately after, it's very efficient and I get like all out of the way and done. But 
I definitely know that the leg workout isn't as good as if I come home, relax for a bit, get more food in my system, and then be a little bit more fresh when I go back. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Um, the goal is to really focus, like I said, on strength and hypertrophy. This is like, we don't have any gains, so the amount of soreness I get or how much I tower out my legs right now doesn't really matter. And I'm kind of focused on just that long-term building strength, building power and all that stuff. Um, for my lunch, I don't know what I'm gonna have right now, but we'll figure it out. Okay, here's lunch. I did four eggs, two veggie sausage patties, uh, three rice cakes, and an orange. So this is gonna be my pre-workout meal right now. Okay, so, oh, easy there, speed racer. All right, I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm just doing one and like a three-quarter scoop of C4, which is now NSF certified for sport. So I'm back on my C4 kick. Just a little scoop, have this. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. And again, I'll do a voiceover about the workout, but the whole focus of this is strength and hypertrophy. This is gonna be exactly the type of workout that I did at age 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 to really build the foundation of athleticism, strength, and power. So it should be good, I'm excited for it. Okay, so as with pretty much any workout ever, I started with about 10 minutes on the bike just to warm up the body and get the blood flowing. Obviously, there's a ton of benefits to warming up, but for me, I think one of the biggest benefits is mental. Just for me, getting a sweat going before I even start the workout just helps me get into the flow of the workout earlier and easier. I'll then immediately hop straight into the first exercise, but I'll do one to two warm-up sets where I just perform the movement with lighter weight and higher reps. After the bike ride and the warm-up sets, I'm all set to begin the workout. The first exercise I do after the warm-up in this power workout is always gonna be the main lift of the workout. It's gonna be a compound lift with the focus of going heavy and low reps to focus on power and strength. So this will be the back squat, the front squat, the deadlift, trap bar deadlift, or a power clean big, heavy compound lifts. Uh, and then to focus on power and strength, I wanna be as fresh as possible between each lift. So this isn't gonna be a cardiovascular workout or I'm not focused on muscular endurance. The intention is maximum power. So I go heavy, I go with low reps and long rest times up to a few minutes. There's no exercise that I'll superset this with because I want all my energy and strength focused on the main lift. In this specific workout, I rested two minutes between each set just so I can really recover between each one. It's slow and honestly kind of boring at times to rest that long between each exercise, but I wanna be at least you know 90% recovered before the next set. The next couple exercises in this type of workout are gonna be functional compound movements as well, but not as big or heavy as the main lift of the workout. In this specific workout, I went with single leg box squats and glute ham raises. These two exercises work pretty well together because the single leg box squats are pretty quad dominant and the glute ham raises are pretty glute and hamstring dominant. So they complement each other pretty well. And then lastly, just for these two exercises, I'm going to like the low to mid rep range. Uh, so it's not like, again, not as heavy and low rep as the first exercise, but it's not muscular endurance and it's not, you know, getting the heart pumping. Uh, so what you just saw was the bulk of the workouts. These last few exercises are really just the extra stuff. For this portion of the workout, I'll add in some plyometric style exercises like box jumps, skater jumps, broad jumps, etc., and then maybe some accessory type exercises like calf raises, Copenhagen's, glute bridges, wall sits, etc. In this workout, I chose to superset some single leg box jumps with some calf raises, and now again, the focus of the workout is on power and strength, so I'm not doing 30 box jumps fast to try to get the heart pumping. I'm focusing on explosion and power. Full exertion with each jump, so I do lower reps and, and I rest for longer. Even with the calf raises, I'm going heavier and doing a mid rep range just because I want strength and power and not muscular endurance. And then lastly, in these types of workouts, you're, you're kind of focused mainly around the main muscle groups, you know, glutes, hamstrings, quads, etc. So I don't want to neglect the smaller muscle groups like the hip flexors, adductors, or abductors. So I'll hop on this four-way hip machine and I'll do a few more accessory type movements just to target those areas so they don't become weak and get unbalanced with the larger muscle groups that I've been focusing on earlier in the workout. Anyway, that's my strength and power leg workouts that I pretty much entirely focused on from the ages of 14 through 20 years old to really build up that athletic base of speed and power. I'll do these a ton as well in off season when I have you know no gains so I can really push my legs. Uh, and again, these specific exercises might change day to day or from workout to workout or whatever. 
uh, you know, I might switch up the deadlift and I might switch in a, a back squat or I'll switch in a power clean or something, or I might change the single leg box jumps with a lateral box jump or a bra jump or whatever. But that basic format was what I used and I still use to this day for this style of workout. So I just got back from uh, from the gym from the workout. It was a really good workout. I already know I'm gonna be pretty sore tomorrow. Um, and again, I cannot stress this enough. This was a, the focus of the workout was power, strength, and a little bit of hypertrophy. You know, to build up the size and strength of the legs, to build up that athletic foundation. And it's great, especially when those in those teenage years when you're becoming and developing into an athlete. Um, obviously now, if you guys see my workouts, you see what I'm doing now, it's kind of transitioned a little bit to maintenance. Now that I have the base, now that I have the athleticism that I really want, it's about maintaining it and keeping everything in balance. So um, again, I think it's a good recommendation for you guys. I mean, you always have to look at yourself as a player and kind of like tailor your workouts and your trainings to what you need. But if you're building up that athletic base and you want to do workouts like this, just make sure that you're balancing it out with, you know, speed and agility type workouts. You're doing a lot of plyometrics. You're continuing to do those workouts, but also doing like the body weight and the little prehab movements, you know, the ab work, all that kind of stuff, balance it in. Uh, so anyway, the rest of today is going to be really boring. I'm just going to pretty much be doing a lot of the come elite work, hanging out on the couch, watching TV, and then dinner, and then repeating it all again tomorrow. So hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.